And we also wore the same shit that y'all was wearing. If you want to talk about ancient makeup, we painted our faces too. And y'all don't even want to talk about that type of shit. Y'all will start talking about a nigga faggot if I come in here with my motherfucking Egyptian shit painted on shit. Y'all don't want to hear none of that. So don't bring that shit up to me. I don't want to hear that. Don't act like you coming at me on no historical shit unless you ready for both of us to be walking around like that. If you're going to wear a fucking wig, why would you wear one? It look like it's degenerate. Why would you take a step down? Why do you think a step down is better than where you already was at? Why would you put something on your head or sew or glue or put something in your head that you couldn't grow yourself? What are you saying? You're obviously saying that whatever you put on is better than what you could grow yourself. There's no other reason why you would do it. Y'all can't tell me nothing else, man. This is na nature. You've seen a motherfucking cat with some bird wings on his back. You would think he was crazy. You'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with that cat? Don't he know he's not a bird? Why did that cat want to be a bird so much? What's wrong with being a cat? Why you can't just be happy being a cat? I hope I ain't leave nothing out. Like I said, I just want to be basic and simple and keep it natural to the point. Can you argue with that? Are y'all going to tell me that straight hair is stronger than this? Is that your argument? Sisters, any one of you sisters, tell me that. That's all I'm asking you. Is this stronger or not? Look how I'm pulling it. My shit don't be all over the place. I don't have, I don't leave fur behind like a dog. Y'all like dogs. That's like a dog. That's dog-like. That's beast-like. If you get out my bed in the morning and there's a whole bunch of shit, fur on my pillow and shit. Just like my dog just got out my bed. And I don't sleep with dogs in my bed. Just for that reason. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, I say, man, don't get upset when a nigga say I he civilized you. If a brother, if a man civilized you, you man, you owe him your life. You know what I'm saying? Pulled you out of the muck and mire. If you was walking around with a head full of fur, thinking it was better than your natural strength, your beautiful shit right here. You was dead, basically. Blind, deaf, and dumb. But this is civilization. We, I'm, I'm bringing you back to civilization, who you once were. You running around thinking a beast is more attractive than you. Dressing like men, thinking it's feminine. Fucking up your natural balance and equilibrium, curvature of your spine to imitate who and what. Impress who and what. I've been told many women many times before, y'all could be walking around with brown paper sacks on your head. And I guarantee you, ain't going to be no less babies being born around this motherfucker. Ain't nobody finna stop fucking. That shit, it's not real. What you're thinking is important is not what we're looking for. You are teaching us what to look for. You are making us think these things are important. It all starts here. Right here. Whatever I look up at, when I first get right here, the first thing I'm seeing while I'm down there, and enjoying my meal, my first meal, getting sustained by life. That image that I see back at me is my first image of God. That's my first glimpse of God. 
And from then on, I will everything or every woman I see from then on is gonna have to live up to that standard of beauty. And if this person up here who I'm looking at, if they standard of beauty is a beast. Then I'm going to grow up with that as my standard of beauty. So y'all keep that in mind too. I hear a lot of sisters, you want to dog the brothers, but not being conscious of that. You have to be aware. We had, we had to come, you had to come to that realization, brothers. And the sisters had to be patient. I mean, you're going to have to show us. You can't be walking around looking crazy and then acting like we supposed to not be looking at all these other women like that. These women look like my mama. <laughs> this is natural. You got to train yourself not to get caught up in all that. So, I hope y'all break the spell. No more glam. No more gram. Program. Grammar. Glamour. Let's wake up. Need help.